Okay, and so for the uh, the turtle shell on the uh, the bottom side of it, what we have here is uh, let me try and make this not too shaky here. As you can see, when I when I sketch with this, it's so hard because I can't see where I'm at exactly. Still getting used to this. Okay, and um, what we do here, he's going to have 12. I looked at uh, several different turtles, and they all have 12 cells, just like the top was consistent. They always had 13 on the top. He's got 12 on the bottom. What happens is you have uh, one line dead down, dead center, and that's uh, always just like that. And then on the top and the bottom, you get this kind of thing going on. It's not exactly the same, and I, I'm just being a little rough here. And then you have sort of a six-pack in the middle. So here's like one, two... Three, four, five, six, right? So there's a six pack here, and if you count them, it should be 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? So, I mean, I guess the easier way to look at it, you could say three lines, one uh, vertical line, three horizontal lines, and then you do a fork on the top and the bottom, and there you go. So we could do something like this, you know, say one, and go one, oops, one, two, three and then a fork here and a fork there almost looks like a Chinese character which you know might actually be relevant because the Chinese uh, they say a lot of the characters did start off with uh, uh, divinations was the word some of some kind of like fortune telling with using turtle shells <coughs> okay so there's that and uh, that's basically what the the bottom of a turtle shell just very roughly you know so you see the, the point of this video, a lot of the stuff I'm doing, I'm just breaking things down into simple ways so that I can use it again. It'll make it easier to remember, and then later on I can use it for whatever it is I have to do. So we're going to go, now I have no turtle reference whatsoever, but after having done that study, let's see how difficult it is to make a uh, anthropomorphic turtle. Kind of like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but not at all. And I had something, there, was, there is something I want to say about that with uh well, I'll just go ahead and draw and I'll tell you I'll tell you what that is. Um when it comes to you know a lot of people worry about being original and stuff like this. You know, I'm gonna go down ten about ten pixels. Yeah. Okay. A lot of people worry about originality and I would say uh you know if we're to if I were to ask people, which I didn't in this case, uh, but if I were to ask people, you know, what should I draw, what, what would be a good idea to do with the, the turtle right now, I would say, how about a, um, how about a, uh, you know, anthropomorphic turtle, uh, kind of a man turtle, just for fun with the illustration. A lot of people, you know, they burst out immediately and say, no, you can't do that because the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles have already been done. And so I get this all the time. The thing is, and you'll see when I'm done here, it's going to be a totally different thing. The thing is, um, some of that kind of talk is uh, based upon things be that that come through uh, law. Uh, some of it is, uh, you know, historically, uh, it's cultural because you want to be original. And the other thing is uh, the legal problem. A lot of people are always worried, like, oh, I can't do that because. Um, you know, it's uh, it's against copyright laws to do something that's already been done. Now, here's where there's uh, there's a big problem. Um, and uh, let me just tell you real quick. What I'm going to do here is I'm just going to sketch out like uh, a rough human kind of forms because that'll be my base of uh, of the body here. So anyway, that's that's what I'm doing. And then I'll add the turtle features after that. And so what actually happens is. Um, <clears throat> A lot of people have a misunderstanding of, of how that law works. You're allowed to do, first of all, in your own privacy of your own home or your own sketchbook or wherever you are, you can do whatever you want. You can draw Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles or whatever. A lot of people know that. They call it fan art and this and that. If you're making money off of it, that's a different thing. <coughs> yeah, I think I kind of like them. This reminded me of Battle Toads, which I actually kind of like. It's an old game, Nintendo game. Give them like battle toads kind of look. Um, and the other thing is, uh, even if you're planning to make something new, like you want to make a new comic book, 
and uh, you suddenly think, oh, I like turtles. I, I wish I could do turtles, but I guess I can't because it's already been done. But that's not true. You can. Just don't do four of them who happen to be brothers, who happen to, uh, you know, be ninjas, because that would be where the um, <clears throat> copyright laws and uh, trademark laws start to give you a problem. <clears throat> you don't want to copy, like, you know, uh, bit by bit. Let's see, layer to image size, yeah. Probably should have done a better foundation here, but anyway. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you can do whatever you want. <clears throat> Just be original. Just, you know, know that you're not copying something else, and you can, you know, make that, make money off it, sell it, put it on your website, print it, whatever you want to do. Make money off of it. He looks a little stiff and angry, but that's okay. Turtles are like that. Okay, so, I mean, this is weird. I don't know why I just added a belt and stuff. It's just, you know, helped me to get where I am. So, let's try and keep a lot of this stuff. He's going to have a front shell here. Like that, and we'll do the same thing. Where this comes down, I did one, two, three. It actually works out pretty good because... Look at how that fits on a, you know, even on a human-like body, it gives him this cool-looking kind of like front armor. And then, yeah, just like that. I kind of like that, how that worked. And I'm trying to get back down to 10 pixels, so his arms will be here. I guess this one needs to come back a little. It's kind of a problem. And now there's a whole other study that you could you know, spend a long time doing here. How do I get the human features right? And that's a totally different thing. Okay. I don't want him to look like he's ready to punch anyone or anything. So this back here. <coughs> so yeah, that was in a nutshell, in a turtle shell. That's uh, that's that topic. You can do whatever you want. And this part here is supposed to close off, but his arms come out. So his arms and head come out of the same hole as we studied before. What we'll do here is allow that to come back to the side. And I'm not 100% sure how it works with the um, <coughs> excuse me, with the legs. I'm not sure if they come out of one big hole or if there's two areas there. But I'm just gonna wing it for now. And with the head, I'm okay with this, basically. A little bit of jaw in there. See how this is wrong? You just know it's wrong because of what we did. And it's not supposed to look like a smile. So it's kind of double wrong, I think. Yeah, because he has his... The turtle's head is normally looking up not like this where he has a jaw that goes back uh, to a you know a S curve into a neck it's usually always pointing forward just like uh, dogs and cats you know so something some things are just gonna have to change like that right? and then just to make it a little interesting you know he has some muscle tone here I close this part off I'm gonna give him Again, I, I'm not doing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, so what they would do is they give them like two fingers, which I don't even know why. I guess it's just cartoony. I'm going to go ahead and do the whole uh, five fingers because, as we saw, they do seem to have uh, five fingers or five claws, whatever you want to call them. And there he is just standing there doing nothing. We can figure out what he does later. Maybe he's... Uh, Turtles are old, right? And they, uh, or I mean, they're not all old. They, they can be young. You have young turtles, old turtles, but they live long. Was what I meant to say. So they have this kind of like uh, age and wisdom thing about them. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's right now. So we could have them with like a walking staff. It'd be like uh, he could be a wizard turtle. Make his hand a little bigger. 
Let me just draw the staff first. It's hard to see where I'm putting this. This down here. Just by his foot. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. Kind of like, uh, it's going to be like a magic staff. There's a ball floating in here. This hand, the pull will go into the hand. The fingers need to wrap around it and not go through it. It's uh, some common mistakes that happen. Okay. Now, if he has a staff like that, you would think he needs to have, I don't know, something like a, a cape. Let's do something here like this. We'll just forget about this stuff since it's going to be covered up. Yeah. And like that. The cape goes back around here. He could even have a hood or something. Is it going to be hooded cape? Yeah. So you have a cape like that. And then. You know, so when it's cold or when he's doing, uh, going to battle, then I'll have his cape here. And it might be a little windy. So I'll just go like this. Okay. And now, just for, uh, I'll come out the other side. just uh, some details. So that was all about, I mean at this point I'm illustrating. I'm pretty much done talking about the uh, the anatomy of a turtle and uh, I'm just gonna go in here and uh, like illustrate which means what step one for me with this type of uh, thing, this type of illustration is to get uh, just the fundamentals down. I do that trick that I was showing you before. That didn't turn out too bad. Sometimes when I flip it around, I'm like, oh God, what what have I done? <laughs> and, uh, I need to fix all these things. This I'm okay with. I do want to add a little bit more uh, muscle tone and stuff like this. So I'll just describe some of the steps I'm going through as I do that. Um, this one, if you look at anatomy, and since we've decided to go human with this, if you look at the anatomy of a uh, you know person, then... You have these muscles on the, uh, there's, the difference between the inner leg and the outer leg just seems to make a difference. There's like, uh, there's two muscles. There's a group over here and a group over here, right? So the one on the outer leg, uh, it tends to uh, pop up, or it's, it protrudes a bit on the higher part. And one on this side comes out on, on like the bottom. There's like a leg here, uh, like a, you know, there's a muscle like, just like this right here. And they're all tear shop, uh, tear drop shaped, excuse me teardrop shaped. And that's what happens with a lot of the muscles. Like this one here has kind of a teardrop to it. You know, this one here, that's a bicep. And then most of the muscles, I think, generally have a, a teardrop shape to them. So, you know, if you're like beginning artist and you're trying to figure out how do they do all those cool muscles like in Marvel, DC Comics, well, that's what you got to do is study those uh, teardrops, where they are, where they protrude, you know, because it could be like if it's an arm, maybe... Here's a bicep is like this, and then the back of his arm will have the, the triceps, and then here'd be the elbow, and then here's you know, here's the forearm, right, like that, and here's the shoulder. So it all looks like these curves, but you really gotta get to know and then here would be the hand down here. But you really gotta get to know the difference between what if the forearm here, if I make it go like this, well that's totally wrong. It should be more like this, right? It gets skinny towards the wrist and it s slowly comes up this way and then drops down faster. So here you have a stronger arc and then here you have a long slow arc. And the same thing is true with pretty much all the muscles. Triceps in the back it kind of protrude at the top and then taper off. Uh, biceps, you know, I think they are the one that's kind of like even. I could be wrong about that. I think they, they tend to just like, you know, anybody can see their bicep when you make one in the mirror. Sometimes they have this kind of thing where they're, they're just even on the top like that. But on the back side, they might come out like this. Because they go down here and connect to uh, to the bone inside there. So it's just a bunch of stuff. Legs get a little bit more complicated to explain, to put in words. But if you look at the pictures, then uh, do that. Ankle down here. Might as well give him some shoes. I know you're, you're thinking, should we give him shoes? And I'm thinking, 
sure thing. I'm gonna be sandals because he's a uh, wizard. Wizards uh, wear sandals, and uh, if you didn't know that, now you do. If you know somebody who disagrees, then uh, just tell them they're wrong, and uh, refer them to this video so that I can uh, educate them. Wizards wear sandals. That that's the correct answer. If you ever go to you know play Jeopardy or some trivia or something, and they say, "What kind of shoes?" Do anthropomorphic turtles where the answer is uh, sandals? Sandals was the correct answer. They were sandals. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> there you go. And the other thing while I'm doing this, uh, I don't have to stick with this. And notice I flipped around and I totally forgot about it. That's actually a good thing. It means uh, I feel comfortable with the way it looks both this way and this way, which is good. And I could even, I mean, I might even end up leaving it this way and then go ahead and publish it. You know, that's the point of illustration is you usually have uh, a goal of some place where it's going to be published. And that could be anywhere. It could be on a website. It could be, um, you know, in a book. It could be a comic book or, or whatever. But you're going to, when I use the word publish, it means it's going to go out into public view. <clears throat> could even be like a medical journal if you're illustrating some kind of, uh, you know, sometimes you have to do illustration of uh, like anatomy <clears throat> or, uh, you know, parts of the body. They still, that's still business. If, uh, if you want to draw uh, for a living. They still need what they call, uh, they call them medical illustrators. Okay. So he looks pretty cool, relaxed. He's got his magic wand there. Um, obviously, he's not a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, they kind of look like this. They have, like, brown heads like that. And then they have um, the ninja thing that goes here. And they have a nose that protrudes more like a beak. It always looked like, you know, kind of angry. <laughs> and then they have the eyes that come down like this, always like dark and mysterious, right? And then uh, their uh, that you know, ninja-like bandana thing is always flowing in the wind. It's all like dramatic and stuff. So uh, uh, my version here is a lot more, uh, you know, to, to the book, to the textbook kind of thing. I mean, I'm not trying to compare, say, anything's better or worse. I actually prefer... The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are really cool, but this is just a different thing where I'm uh, making it look a little bit more realistic to um, the features of a turtle. And this is all very, very important, of course. It's more important than uh, religion and science and all that stuff. Just anthropomorphic turtles. So the other thing that uh, I was trying to get at I keep distracting myself is the um, once once all this the basic contour the shape of everything is where I want it and stuff then you start thinking about things like um, lighting and shade so you want to have some contrast here and there if it was just like a thin line outlining him and then some thin lines inside it wouldn't really look like much so before it goes to get published we're gonna have to worry about all those these types of things um, and so I know these videos go on and on and I've been rambling here so I'm just gonna stop this here for now because I already have like two other videos that are 30 minutes long and I have to cut them with this one uh, what I'll do here is I'll leave this for you to see just like this this is how far we got just from studying a turtle anatomy and then uh, you know getting into making an illustration out of it and this is just one of what could be many you know because we know what a shell looks like on the back uh, we studied, you know, the features of their face and their eyes and how their legs work. We could make all different types of stuff. I could make a turtle, like, car or a turtle machine, a future turtle machine, like a robot turtle. You can do all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to do some of that uh, very soon in subsequent videos. But for now, just this is the beginner steps of how I took something from nature and started bringing it into uh, my illustration for creativity uh, while maintaining some of uh, the you know more realistic aspects and I, I mean this is also another way that 
when you don't have inspiration, when you don't have creativity, do something like this. Think of something you like. I like turtles. I think they're pretty cool. So I just went and I found some turtle images, started studying them. And next thing you know, we came out with this guy. And this could lead into, now that I have this guy, I could go crazy with it. You can say, you know, just who, what, where, why, when. Who is this guy? Where does he come from? He looks like he needs a crown. He looks majestic, right? So put some kind of, like, big crown on him. Maybe he's, like, uh, he's, like, a religious... Uh, leader who's also like a magi magician, a king, some powerful kind of guy. It's like, you know, he's got, I could draw in all this like weird smoke and dust around him. Um, there's some kind of crazy character. And then you take it on from there, like who are his friends, what is the land that he lives in, and just go nuts with it. All starting from just that one basic thing, it was studying turtles. So whenever you need some crazy ideas, just, uh, well, I'm not saying just study turtles, but obviously, you know, start off with something simple and then uh, let it grow from there. See what happens. Okay, I'll end this video here and then I'll come back in the next one with some uh, more of this. I'm going to follow up with the turtle theme and do some, uh, you know, that stuff I just said, like maybe we'll do mech turtles, machine turtles. That sounds fun, right? And some other stuff. And then after that, we're going to move on to a uh, bunch of other crazy stuff. If you're there on YouTube, please subscribe. Stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.